we're on the home page let's make all of this right here all of these stories here dynamic and actually show us true data going into our text editor I'm just going to close out of everything here and then open up our index HTML this is where all of that data is right now and what I like doing is to delete everything except for one just so that we have it a little bit cleaner here grabbing this we'll just grab this go all the way to the top and then we'll just delete all the way up until the last one do we fetch and there we have it now we only have one story to to work with and this will just be the template that we're using we have a well here and what I want to do and let's go into our storage controller first so in our index we'll need just like what we did for our new action we had a variable here that created a new instance of the story in our index here we'll want to define a variable so stories equals story dot all we'll just say for now this will work going back into our index HTML ERB file we'll go add stories dot each do story and I was thinking about ending it but that's fine we don't need to end it right now essentially where we're getting this stories right here is from the stories controller so for every single story do something for it so each one of for each story do something to it and we're going to explain that right here all of this lorem ipsum we can get rid of do story dot body have our breaks in here and then we can leave these here for now down at the bottom move this all over and our for each here to refresh and there you have it and you see all of this at the bottom here we don't need any of this so my mistake we don't need the equal sign here essentially what happens here is if you have an equal sign it'll show you what you want to see or it'll show you the the code in here the code block that you have in here just like what we have here we want to see the story body but for this here we don't really need to see any of this information so by deleting the equal sign there it'll get rid of all of this good and right now all of these buttons and comments and is created by Ramon that's all still static or that's all still just hard-coded we don't have any functionality there yet but at least we've been able to clean up our home page a bit here and make this all dynamic and before we even do anything else let's see if we can change up these categories here so that it can actually show us some categories so let's go into our seeds or B file whenever you're creating a uh, a category well let's think about this for a second when in actuality we probably don't need a new form or a show page for our categories right categories are just one-time deals once you have a category it's just it's just there you don't need to uh, necessarily have to create a form to create a new category or the ability to edit and update a new category you can do that if you'd like uh, but when you really think about it category is something that's kind of created by the admin and it's created in the back end here so instead of doing it one by one we can do it in our seeds rb file and this file is essentially where you want to put all of your tasks type of items so if you want to manually or not manually but 
uh, generate some categories you can do it here if you want to generate more dummy data like more uh, more stories here as dummy data to play around with you'll want to do it in the seeds file here so what I'm going to do is create some categories here so I'm going to have a category called ghost and we'll call on the category model right here or the category table and the name of that is going to be ghost and what we can do here is just copy paste it a few times so instead of this it'll be which let's see I can spell it right and we'll say there's monster category say stalker category because that can be pretty scary too we'll just call this one night a scary story at night and then my least favorite one is children so scary story about scary stories about little girls or little boys in the middle of the night. Just saying that is making me terrified. So what we want to do is run this file. Going into our terminal, we can run it by rake db seeds. Seed. Rake db seed without the S. And that'll go through and run this file and create these categories for us. And we can see that if we go into our Rails console here by typing in Rails space C, do category dot all, and we'll see that it went through and created all of these categories for us. Fantastic. Going back into our index page. We want to change all these ones to actually show us the categories. And before I do anything, let me just get rid of this. Let's make this a one column type of deal here. Let's get rid of all of this right here. So where is this div? See what it looks like okay that's fine I've got some code so just so you don't have to sit here and watch me mark up all of this right here I'm going to copy and paste in some code so where is this div? column 4 right here let me get rid of all of this so a good way, at least with Sublime Text, is in order to find the end of, for in this case, a div, I can just put my cursor inside of it and it'll highlight where the end of that div is. So that then I know where to get rid of it. So I'll just delete all of that and then paste in some code. So this is the code that I pasted in right here. And so it does all of our markup right here puts in our categories and this is where our Ruby code is essentially it just does category for each category do something to it and this something is create a list and show it and give us the category name if we do a refresh Ah, no category path so right now let's just get rid of this path right here for now we're going to want to make sure that this is a link but for now just to get this to work do a refresh this is what we want it to look like categories and then it shows us all of our categories right here so we just had to get rid of this link we'll, we'll definitely put that back in there once we get to that point but for now all we want to do is for all of our categories put them in a list in this panel right here on the right hand side so now we can see all of our categories right here